Well, the mystery object that lit up the night sky over Melbourne on Monday night is believed to be space junk, the likely remains of a Russian rocket. Joining us live is Dr Sarah Webb, astrophysicist at Swinburne University. Dr Webb, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Do we have clarification now as to what exactly that piece of, of space junk was and, and why it was back in our atmosphere? Yeah. So we have some likely clarification that it was most likely from a Soyuz 2 rocket that was launched up in Russia just hours before we saw this debris entering the atmosphere. Unfortunately, until we can confirm exactly where the debris landed and if we can get our hands on it, we can't be for certain. But it does seem pretty likely at this point that that's, that's what it was. Did we have any notice that this would be happening and, and do scientists usually get notice that we're about to have space junk falling back to Earth? Because that could be pretty dangerous, couldn't it? No, oh, absolutely, it can be. And this is um, it's a really, really important question that you ask, and one that we're still trying to understand, how do we mitigate this in the future? A lot of the time when launches happen, stages, so this is a late stage of a rocket, are expected to either fully burn up in the atmosphere, or if they're not, they're expected to land somewhere in the Pacific or the Atlantic Oceans. Um, sometimes it's very hard to predict what exactly will happen, and it depends how fast they're going and how high altitude they received. But at this point, we don't have have a service that would alert scientists or alert us to possible debris entering the atmosphere until we catch a glimpse of it and track it. So this is something that many scientists, including myself, are actively working on is how do we uh, have a good space situational awareness? How do we track everything that's up in orbit and everything that is launching? And how do we try and mitigate it from entering our atmosphere? Or if it does, how do we predict where it might land? Because how much space junk is actually up there, Dr. Webb, in terms of um, of the amount that we're essentially polluting space? Yeah, um, it's an incredible amount. I smile because it, the amount literally shocked me. So a new report that came out only a couple of uh, months ago estimates that there is 100 trillion individual pieces of space junk in the atmosphere, which to me seems like an unimaginable number. These pieces vary from entire space uh, crafts and satellites that are no longer workable to very, very tiny flecks of uh, paint and metal debris that is orbiting our Earth. Um, it is an incredible and an astounding amount. And the thing that particularly worries me is that this is just the beginning. In the next 10 years, so by 2033, we're expecting at least 60,000 new satellites to be launched. Um, with this comes more launch vehicles, more satellites, and more potential for debris to enter our atmosphere or cloud up our low Earth orbit. So it's something that we take really, really seriously uh, and something that we really want to mitigate for the future. Because as you can imagine, if we're at 100 trillion pieces right now, we don't want to go too far beyond that. And the speed that they're travelling is is pretty impressive as well, isn't it? As we spend more, send more people uh, up into space, uh, does that increase the risks for for human flight? I assume if if something collided uh, yeah. with with something that's carrying humans, that could end really badly. Absolutely, yes. So pieces that are in low Earth orbit, so that's only a few hundred kilometres above the Earth, can travel anywhere from seven to nine kilometres per second, incredibly fast. And the thing with physics is that the momentum is what is dangerous. So you can have a very small object travelling very, very fast, and it can impart quite a lot of force thanks to momentum. So this is something that is of great concern when we're sending humans not only to our space station, but we're going to be sending humans back to the moon in multiple different programs programs, not just the Artemis program, having a clear and safe way to exit our Earth's lower atmosphere is incredibly important. And this is why taking space junk and monitoring our skies is something that's really, really important. Because if we don't take care, there is the potential for not only our human life to be at risk, but also our technology that we rely on every single day, our satellites that we rely on to relay us important information could be harmed. Yeah, scary scuff. Dr. Webb, appreciate you taking the time to explain it all for us. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me.